Hey guys, it's me, Kyle, back again with a new video. And this video is about these things. I already opened them, as you can see. These are two microcontrollers. So these have been very kindly supplied by Fireshine Technology. Uh, the links will be in the description if you are interested in buying some of their products. They sell a lot of these uh, microcontrollers and all that kind of stuff that you want for it, sensors, displays, and you can buy them on their Amazon store. And then you can buy them for nice prices that you would expect from something like eBay or AliExpress. Uh, but from the Amazon store you can expect it to arrive in 2-3 days instead of 2-3 weeks. So that's pretty nice. Here's a little disclaimer. Uh, just, you know, as a little ad break, but a disclaimer break. As you can see, these are the uh, microcontrollers that I got in. Uh, I got these sent over, very kindly, uh, by Fireshine Technology. But I did not get paid to say anything positive about them, I didn't get paid for this. I'm doing this um, as a service for them, um, they send this over, I make a video, and uh, so if I say anything positive or negative, that's my own opinion, just so you know, I won't take money uh, for giving an opinion, I will just do that, so if you're a company and you want to send me something, I don't take money from you, I just take your product, give you my opinion, and that's it, I give you my honest opinion, and if I say I like these, I like these. If I say that I don't like the solar mask over here, maybe over there, it's not a big deal for me, but maybe it's a deal breaker for you. I'm just going to say that, so as you can see, I find it important to just have that as a quick notice. There you go. And uh, the rest of this video is also completely honest. So, so that was the disclaimer break. Back to the video. So let's take a look at the smaller one first. Uh, as you can see, it's quite small. It's in a nice little anti-static bag. It's pretty neat. And it's a very small um, Arduino. So small actually, you can not really clearly see it on camera. You get some of these uh, pins with them that I will solder in in a minute. And as you can see, they can just fit in, solder in, and it's very nice and small. And it has a USB connector. So let's take a closer look. All right, so I'm just holding it up to the camera really quick. And as you can see, it is a very small, tiny footprint, but there is a USB connector in there. So most people are used to the footprint of the Pro Mini, which is an Arduino, of course, it's an Arduino Pro Mini. That's uh, also one sold on official Arduino site. And this is just like that one, except for that this one doesn't need an external uh, FTDI programmer chip or CH340 programming chip. This one has the Arduino Micro chip on it, which means that it's a Pro Micro, kind of. So this has the Pro Mini footprint, so it's very small, very thin, nothing on the bottom here, which is quite nice. Um, of course, some tracks and uh, you can put the pins in here, but you don't have to. And you can program it and power it with this USB port over here, because the uh, Pro Micro and thus the Micro, which uh, is an actual official one sold on the official site. This one is more like, uh, because it's all open source, it's kind of like fan made, uh, but it's very handy because it has everything integrated into this chip. So this means that you can make your Pro Mini projects a lot easier by having this um, port on there and everything integrated into the chip. So you get the same specs uh, as the Micro with a couple less spins. But it's really not a big deal because you still have like four of these analog ins, you have uh, all these pins over here, the digital outputs, and uh, RXTX pins, VCC, ground of course, reset. So that is really no big deal, you got more than enough for this tiny size of a board. So here's the bigger uh, our, um, Arduino like board, but this is actually not an Arduino this time. As you can see, this is an ESP32. So this is the ESP32 that I requested. So I will just show you up close. So as you can see, here's that little ESP32 module. And this is a very interesting microcontroller. It's uh, not very old actually. It's uh, from 2017. It's, that's kind of where most people started using it. And it has two buttons, as you can see. Uh, this button needs to be pushed down to program it, but that's not a big deal. You just push it, wait for it to connect and let go. You have a USB port on here for programming and power. You have uh, the 
serial to USB chip and um, it's flat bottom you know there's nothing on the bottom which is nice because it makes it a bit more rigid if you want to get it out of a breadboard this is kind of hard to show on camera but a nice thing about this one is it has um, a Silabs uh, chip on there so some of these cheaper ones use uh, the CH340 chip which may or may not have some driver issues this one doesn't this one has the Silabs um, CP2102 on there so that one will work um, guaranteed unless it's a faulty unit which this one isn't it's uh, perfectly working USB32 so the only bit of a complaint here is that um, as you can see on the soldering mask there are no labels except on the bottom now this is not a huge deal you know this is not a really big deal um, except for when you put it in a breadboard you have to look up uh, you know the pins uh, pinouts on Google it's just not a big deal but it's a bit more of a hassle um, but other than that this thing is perfectly fine and it's really nice in case you don't know this one has Wi-Fi it has Bluetooth it has dual core so one core handles Wi-Fi Bluetooth connectivity and the other one handles your code and a uh, very important notice is it works on 3.3 volts so don't put your Arduino stuff on there direct directly make sure that what you put in there is not actually 5 volts that could damage it so enough talking about this for now let's do actually something with this let's show you um, what you can do with these microcontrollers because that's what you're here for they're pretty nice they're pretty neat and you can do quite a lot with them first off I want to solder these uh, pins on here and um, I'm going to do that by using a breadboard and putting this one on there and then soldering it with my soldering iron. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I grab the little microcontroller and I just loosely stick in the pin headers, these little thingies and just kind of take a look at how they uh, should be. And actually this looks to be pretty good. So this is uh, pretty good if I take this one off as you can see they send up right and that's exactly how you want it. So just leave the microcontroller on. Got a soldering iron. So it's going to be a bit hard soldering with a camera pointing at it. Because the camera is a bit in the way. But uh, just tack this one on. And that one, that one, so there we go. So now you just want to solder all of these pins, yeah, unless um, you're not going to uh, use it with the pins, uh, but you're going to use it um, in a little project where it needs to be as slim as possible, you're going to solder the wires directly to it. You can also do that, that's totally fine, that's really nice that they give you that option. The pins are in. It's soldered. There we go. Um, that looks pretty nice. Yeah. Awesome. All right, back in my room. So now you might think, okay, so I have an Arduino Nano. Uh, without the pins, that one is also really small. So what's the difference? I will show you. So now I don't have an Arduino Pro uh, Mini uh, to compare to, but it's basically the same size, this one. So it's not really a big deal. Um, and there's nothing wrong with any of these Arduinos, but this one is obviously the biggest, the Arduino Uno. This one is really nice, you can also buy it from their site, uh, from uh, High Let Go. But this one is uh, really big and it's basic, so as you can see everything is very largely labeled with a big microcontroller, big connector. You can see what you're doing. So this one is really good for beginners, uh, or maybe just for some testing, prototyping projects, so that one is really nice. But it's way too big for some projects, and as you can see it's a bit wobbly, but that's okay. This one is a Nano, that one is also really nice and small, it has its advantages. But it has some stuff on the bottom, so that makes it actually a bit thicker. 
and this one has a micro B jack so reset button and well it's just not as small as this one which as you can see compared to the nano is back to back just as wide but side to side like this you can see it's shorter and it is actually thinner as you can see um, it has a thinner USB lead which most phones use these days but there's nothing here and this one does have some stuff on there and this is just all nice and small so that's really handy so this one is also nice for some bread breadboarding stuff uh, but this one is just really nice if you really need a small little Arduino so since this is an Arduino Let's hook it up and check in the Arduino software if we need to install anything. Because it's an Arduino, we expect not to have to into install anything. You can just plug it in and start coding. So as you can see, I just have a little lead over here. I'm just gonna plug it in. And it works already. That's good. That's very nice. Because it's so small and light, I'm going to leave it over here. There's nothing conducting or anything. As you can see, uh, you didn't really see it, but... Uh, once you first plug it in, you see a little message pop up or somewhere, and then we open the Arduino software. Okay, so as you can see, I opened uh, the Blink sketch, and I go to um, the tools, I go to board, and I select the Arduino, oh, there we go, the Arduino Micro, which is what the chip is, so it will be recognized as a Micro, which is over here. And then we can select the port, which it has detected, Arduino Micro, COM8, we can upload, and it has finished, and it works. So it works right out of the box, you can code anything onto it, um, and that's really neat. The only thing is, it says let built in over there, yeah, that doesn't work, because normally that's pin 13 or something, and the Pro Micro, or the Micro, doesn't use pin 13, uh... But that's okay, we can change that really quick. Alright, so with Arduino Micro and Pro Micro, you have to change it to pin 17. I just did it really simply over here, but you can do it however you want. And we have a blinking LED, as you can see, one of the built-in LEDs is blinking, which it wasn't doing before. Which is nice, so that uh, shows that it's working. So you can make all kinds of little projects with this one. On to the ESP32. So, as you can see, this is a very advanced microcontroller, but it doesn't really look like that, necessarily, but it actually is. So, um, it has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and you can basically can you can basically find anything that you would want for it, and you can control it in a lot of different ways with apps and stuff, uh, which is really cool. Now, you can just get a breadboard and uh, plug it in, as you can see. It's a quite big, quite a big board, but that is okay. Just plug it in, and we can start doing stuff. Now to install drivers and that uh, for this one is a bit more uh, difficult than with an Arduino, but I will leave I will leave a link to doing that in the description so you can use it with Arduino software. I will just leave some links in the description below where you can buy this one and where you can get some software or programming software for it to set it up with Arduino software or whatever. You can also use Mongoose uh, OS, which is nice. Uh, you can just figure out whatever you want and it's very advanced. So we just plug it in again. Um, I have already set it up for my Arduino software and we can start programming it so we can put a lot of different stuff on there uh, i just have this code which will get my youtube statistics and display the time all right as you can see it's now saying connecting so what we need to do is go over here see this is why i have to switch a lot and press the boot button until it says that it's connecting so i'm holding it down and there we go see now we're getting something uh, that says writing See, hash of data, verified, compressed, writing. So that's very nice, and that's it. So we can just press this button over here, which just resets it really quick. So as you can see, it gave me the time, and gave me view count and subscriber count of my YouTube channel, which is accurate as if, uh, well, this time and date. So that's really cool. What I can do is I can attach this to a display or anything, and 
control this with my phone or with my computer and that's quite cool as you can see I made this uh, little uh, thing on the breadboard here. Here's the ESP32, and there's a little relay, there's a little transistor behind it uh, for the ESP32 to drive the relay, and a little uh, resistor. It's really simple. And it goes to these wires, which go to my motherboard to turn it on and off. And um, this is all connected to this power bank as you can see i have probably already showed it it's just just a power bank so let's just show that it's completely running on wi-fi here is my sister's phone which can connect to there via the wi-fi over here and i can turn it on and off but uh i will show you that right now okay so as you can see here is my pc and here is the phone so as you can see i'm going to press it and it shuts off, which is really cool. It just goes over Wi-Fi, so I can do this from anywhere in the house. And it will shut off or turn on my computer, which is really cool. Um, so you can do all kinds of uh, stuff with the USB 32, just like this, uh, over Bluetooth, over Wi-Fi. It, it's really nice. So that's, this is a really nice little microcontroller. Uh, this is a really nice little small Arduino. Uh, I really like them. The links are in the description if you want to buy them. The Amazon links for the UK and the US is in the description. And uh, there are other products there as well. So I'm definitely going to use these in the future, which is really cool. Uh, I'm going to make some products with these and hope to share them with you guys. Um, for now, this has just been uh, more of a review and some examples. And I hope to see you guys uh, in my next videos. So uh, bye guys. Really nice, I love him.